Everybody with me so far? Now what if I want to look at the raw waveform, it's too small, I just want to zoom in. I'm not changing the, the size or the power, I'm actually just visually, I can't see it. Okay. If I, on my laptop, now if you're on a desktop, it's just a plus sign. On a laptop, you have to go shift plus or shift equal, and I can increase the size. Do you see that? So now it's bigger. If I want to take it back down, I hit the minus key, boom, I take it back down. Okay. Now what if it's hard to see my filtered waveforms because of the colors? I can go up to the word color and go waves in white. Makes it look a little easier to see them. Okay, everybody with me? And let's do this. Anybody who's running it, which is fine, go up to your, your button sound up on the menu bar. Everybody with me? Mm -hmm. Click sound off at the bottom. Got it? All right, cool. So the only one that's not coming out of the uh, lines is the raw. Exactly. Now, why is that? Because the lines on the filter represent something different. The lines you see on the filter, let's look. Look it up at mine. See, I have a straight line through delta. Mm -hmm. What do you think that means? Ignore. No feedback's based on it. It's just, it's right at the zero line. <coughs> okay? Only have, one, only have one raw signal. How do you get the other one? Go up to the word display and click filtered waveform. Okay, got it? Okay, now I see one line through delta. I know I'm ignoring it. When I look at theta, I see two, but theta is a stop. So the goal would be to get this white line between those two lines. As my thresholds change, the width of those two lines changes with it. Okay, everybody clear with that? Now we drop down to beta. Beta is a go in this protocol. I have two lines on this. Our goal is to get the wave, the filter wave, outside of those two lines. Okay, everybody with me there? And then, of course, high beta is a stop, so we're back inside is the goal. Let's take a look at our thermometers. So you want them penetrating the pink lines? If it's a stop, I want them inside. If it's a go, you want them out. Right. The only one that you don't want to touch the lines is the rejection. Because anytime it touches, it turns pink and it removes that sample. Okay? Let's look at the thermometers. I'm going to go ahead and turn that delta off because we're not looking at it. We see theta, beta, and high beta. Frequency bands, you check it, uncheck it. Okay. So I'm looking at theta, beta, and high beta. Let's look at some numbers here and, and figure out what these correspond to. I see a fluctuating 21, 20. You see that? The blue line, or the blue number is changing. The red number is fixed. The red number represents the percent time over threshold we preset. Remember that 20 on a stop? Okay. As I move over to the go, we notice a 60. Again, 60% 60 time above threshold. As I drop over to the high beta, it was high beta has its own because it was more of a guard band and we set it for 10. Okay. Now, what the blue number represents is actual time, actual percent time above threshold at this moment. If we leave it on long enough, it'll bring the nails up to the numbers. Well, let's, later. Hold, hold on one second. We'll get there. Okay. So, preset target, 
actual where we are now. Now, depend. The targets the red. Correct. 19 is where we currently. Now, if our options are after pre baseline, set the threshold, and after each run, set the threshold, those are the times in which changes are going to happen to the threshold that feedback's based on that will help keep these two close to each other. Are there any times during the session that they'll be exactly the same? Yes. Can I tell you how many or when that's going to happen? It's depending on how the client does. Sometimes they, they keep it right around the same and it's fluctuating and dancing right around the target. Sometimes it's, look at this one, is 2%. Just before it was 3% from the target. Sometimes, look at this one, 6% from the target. Okay? Just going to depend. Now, every two minutes on this particular protocol, the thresholds are going to reset and then it's going to get closer to the target again. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, so let's look at this real quick. As I drop down on the thermometer, there's a couple things happening. We see 6.3 in blue, and it's not fluctuating. You guys see that? That's the fixed threshold feedback at this time is being based on. This is what's giving us our points and our sound. Okay, of course I have the sound turned off, but this is what the feedback's based on is this fixed threshold. On the inhibit, if your blue is lower than your red, then you're within the inhibit, right? No. Nothing to do with each other. I'll get to that in two seconds. The red number to the right is telling you at this moment in time where would the threshold need to be to meet the target you set. So it's fluctuating the whole time. Now at two minutes, what happens is, let's say this is the fixed threshold and this one's fluctuating. At two minutes, this is what happens. They even up and then they start fluctuating again. Okay, so if they're like this, one's fixed, one's fluctuating, two minutes, boom, they come back together. Okay, how's an example to show you that? Remember, we also always have the option of using the Y key to update thresholds. So watch these numbers right here. See 7.2, 6.5, 6.6, 6.5. You guys see that? Okay. If I hit the Y key, do you see what happened? The thresholds came together, and they were the same for a moment. So we reset the threshold that feedback's based on to where it needed to be to meet the target. Everybody with me? And you just have no theta at all? You can go to frequency bands, make sure you have the right ones checked. It's checked up top. Did it even those thresholds up across all three frequency bands? Yes. Okay. Here, I'll do it again. Just watch them all. Yeah. 